Previously on Gobo Plays Pokemon Fire Red, managed to get out of Viridian Forest after wandering about. And he arrived in Pewter City. Okay. He took on Pewter City gym leaders Brock with Mudkip and won handily. And he departed a gym in Pewter City. Man, this really sucks. And now... Welcome back to Gomer Plays Pokemon Fire Red. Yeah, that was kind of a thing. It's like, really, you couldn't, you couldn't have done more backstory than that. Ugh. Oh well. But here we are. We're back going again, and we are not going to stop and level grind in the middle and throw off my time, because these are supposed to be an hour, and I don't think that's what the last video came out to. Oh well. Oh, we can get some repel. Um. Uh, I'll get five. And a couple more Pokeballs. And what the hell, another antidote. And I will probably be making trips between here and the next route. So, stock up on some more supplies. Hi, how you doing? Did you check out the museum? No. Really? You absolutely have to go! Well, if I don't want to go. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. This is it, the museum. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. I want to go. I want to go in there. But I'll have to do that after I have cut. Ah, and the ability to actually use it outside of battle. Yeah, let's go. Hey! Oh, Gomer! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Finally, fucking running shoes! B button to run. Yeah, you go back to the lab. Dear Gomer, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. Aww, from your mother. Alright, we have running shoes. Goddamn, finally. We can run around, do all of this, and... Hi! Excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? Maybe? So what if I did? Oh. Oh, hey, a Pidgey. Yeah. You're, you're gonna... You're, you're just gonna drown. Okay. Well. Another Pidgey. So, my best option would be Umbreon, of course! Ah! Ooh, this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> oh, snap. Ah, oh, really? But, bye bye, Pidgey. You're mean! How am I mean? You challenged me to a battle. You should be staring if you don't want to battle. What the fuck were you doing? You were just sitting there like... Rrr. And then all of a sudden I come across your path, you walk up like this, and then suddenly it's in the battle, and then it's just... Fuck you. Fuck. You. You're telling me it's my fault you challenged me to a battle. I'm just walking along, and then all of a sudden... Yeah, kind of like that there. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Oh, really? Which one were you? Colton. You know, I don't remember a Colton. Because I would have remembered a Caterpie that, that liked to string shot and make me try and not tackle him. But, you know, hey. Ow! Tackle me, I'll tackle you. Really? You're already faster than me. String shot is not going to do anything. A Weedle, huh? Okay. Oh, that's right. Umbreon still has lowered speed. <laughs> but that's okay. Come on, down you go, thank you. 
Yeah. These guys just love using the string shot, don't they? I mean, it's no big deal to me as long as they don't damage me, but come on, guys. They're, they're just string happy. They're so happy to be, be firing out their long, white strands of string. Kind of like Spider-Man. Is that, is that what these guys are supposed to be, like, prototypical Spider-Man of the Pokemon universe or something? Poke spider Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to beat the crap out of this Caterpie. Because... It's there. You're in a Pokemon battle. That's the point. To make one Pokemon beat the crap out of another one. There you go. Go down. Umbreon, go ahead and level up. See? Told you. And he learns Faint Attack early. Yes, that's another thing I've changed. Is Umbreon's moveset. Ever so slightly. Got rid of Helping Hand because that really doesn't help me. And replaced it with a few other things here and there along the way. I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Yay! Fun fact, that's actually a, 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 a bit of a phrase that one of my friends and I like sharing with each other. I like shorts! And the other one will just come and complete it. Uh, but I'll save Faint Attack for later. I don't want to use it up all the way right now. And Ekans, huh? Now this is the guy. This is a time where I actually kind of like the uh, Gen 3 rules for uh, physical and, and special. All dark attacks are special, which means your intimidate does nothing. Not to mention, if you lower my accuracy, faint attack will always hit. So, double advantage! Yay! Also, fuck snakes. Uh, I don't believe it! You don't believe it. Are you using a Pokemon Center's PC for storing your Pokemon? Each box can hold up to 30 Pokemon. Thanks, buddy! You actually reminded me to actually... Oh, well, wait, let's see. I also want to show off Trainer Sprite. <laughs> Only 478, really? Wow. That's abysmal. So let's battle some more. Hi! I can't go behind this guy because you decided... That look you gave me. It's so intriguing. Well, look, I'm just looking blankly at, at you. And I'm kind of glaring because, hey, you're tossing me into a Pokemon battle. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Bait and tackle. Tackle box. I don't know what I'm saying. And down you go. Almost. Really? You just have this habit of Letting these Pokemon hang on by the, the, the by the by a thread the, the, the length of a ball hair. Or is it the width of a ball hair? Oh Nidoran! Cool A Nidoran! Sweet! I'm gonna pursue it. You know what? The Game Grumps are right, that does look like it's just yelling and, and, and streaming. Oh, lordy. Now, come on, don't poison point, don't poison point. Good. Yeah, that's the only thing. Those things have poison point. If your move makes contact with it, you could be poisoned. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. It was, uh, oh, oh, Pokemon Battle. I thought you meant something else all entirely. Eh, Weedle. Fucking Weedle. Eh, first is my Umbreon. I do like Faint Attack. <laughs> it's pretty awesome if I say so myself. Caterpie, huh? Yeah, after about two battles and after two Pokemon in this one, I'm going to switch out for Pidgey. Because I know Pidgey's going to require some leveling. Ka 
Kakuna, huh? Kakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Kakuna Matata. Ain't no passing trays. Okay, I'll stop. But you can't tell me you weren't thinking it too. Really? Yeah, that's right. All Kakuna know how to do in the world is harden and harden and harden. Doesn't stop me from kicking its ass, though. Same with Metapod. These are supposed to be evolved Pokemon. And I'm just taking them down with one shot like that. You guys suck. What? Level 13. And Quick Attack. Nice. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. Well, you, 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 what? 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 If that Pokemon box gets on the P. Oh, psh. well then. Hi, I'm on my way back to town. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? It goes with the look, dude. Don't, don't, don't be dissing my jeans, motherfucker. Don't be dissing my look, motherfucker. It's unbearably hot, but don't be dissing it. Ooh. <gasps> oh, nice. Spiro. Looks for all the world like some grumpy old man bird. I think I'm gonna capture one and name it too. <laughs> nah. So here we go. Run back to the Pokemon Center. Run, 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 run. Doom, doom, doom. Oh dear. Yes, heal the Pokemon, of course. Yeah, we've restored it to full health. Let's take stock. Alright, we got 10 potions, 5 repels, 3 antidotes. I think we'll be fine on potions. 3 Pokeballs. That's what I'm buying. I'm, I'm buying some Pokeballs. At least for this particular journey back to Pewter City. I'm a blast of Pokeballs. Fuck yeah, Pokeballs. Seven, nine seventy, Jeevas, man. Alright. <sighs> run, run, run. I probably would end up using the running shoes more than I would even the bike, man. Whoop! Hi. A battle with a Pokemon I just caught. Well, okay. Sure. Let's see how they work. Oh, Caterpie. Level 11 Caterpie, even. Okay. Yeah, these are a little repetitive, aren't they? <laughs> but you know what? We get levels. That's fine with me. A Metapod, huh? Oh, Pidgey, come to play. Chip, chip. No. Holy shit, I could have named it Chirpy. Fuck. There's a name raider somewhere. I'm going to find it. I think it's in Lavender Town. I think he's in Lavender Town. So, so once I hit Lavender Town, I might rename Pidgey to being Chirpy. Although, Bert, P Chirpy's a female. Pidgey's a male. Never mind. So, done like dinner. Done like dinner. Okay. Really? That's all you have to tell me? Hi! Eek! Did you touch me? No. I don't think I did. I mean, I felt warm, something kind of warm and, and fleshy, but... Oh shit, was that you? Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so sorry. Here, here, here. Let me just... Let's just... Just give you. God damn it. God damn it, Jigglypuff. You all fell asleep! Wakey, wakey, come on. Well, of course, you're gonna defense crawl instead of, you know, maybe trying to hit me. Instead of trying to maybe damage me or something. You can't disable me because I haven't used anything for disabling you yet. There you go. 
Boom. <laughs> oh, now you pound. Oh, snap. Goodbye. That's it? Yeah? Did you expect anything more? Uh, we're at the foot of Route Mount Moon. Okay. Good. Good. I'm gonna take a rest. The foul from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Yeah, I don't think there's anything special on this route in terms of uh, rare Pokemon, so... I'm just gonna rest up my Pokemon right here. Oh dear. This is Mount Moon, isn't it? How many Repel do I have again? Five. That's 500 steps. Can I get through in 500 steps or less? No, actually, I'm going to see if I can't capture a Geodude first. Eh, Bullet Seed, why not? Fucking Zubat. Eh. It's the only reason I haven't put on Repel yet is because I want to catch a Geodude. Ow! You motherfucker. You're gonna leech my life? Goodbye. Oh hey, a trainer I don't normally don't normally fight. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Do I look suspicious? Don't answer that. Okay, tackle. Ow. And, ah! You poisoned me. And of course, a poison. Poisoning comes from a poison Pokemon. Of course, it's not gonna work. Because fuck you! Kakuna? Pidgey Pidgey. Pidgey 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 Pidgey. Yes, you are. Aren't you the cutest little Pidgey out there? Yes, you are. Aren't you just gonna. Look at him using Gus, isn't that so adorable? He's using Gus, he's taking down the Kakuna. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but you know what? Pidgey leveled up from it. Fuck yeah, Pidgey. You got me! Arr, you got me! I saw them! I'm sure they're from Team Rocket! Oh, shit. Good thing I have an antidote. Okay, let's go. Hi! What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. At the cave entrance. Okay. So I guess you're gonna battle while you wait. You have a goddamn clear fairy! Yes! And if this was Gen 6, I'd be fucked. Okay, maybe not quite so fucked, but... Eh, double slap. Two. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, now you, you, you kept the double. That's good. I don't know. Of course. So I just switched to Pursuit, and there you go. Hey, I'm using special! I'm using a special attack now. Because this is Generation 3, and that physical special split hasn't happened yet. Whoop! I lost? Yes, you lost. Oh, God. Flashbacks of Mega Man X4 coming in. Hang in there, Iris! <laughs> Fucking Zubat. Oh god, who was it that, that like, that, that, like, got a whole bunch of Zubat, bred them, got a, and got a bunch of other people to breed them, too. And then just, at one, on one day, all of these people released a whole bunch of Zubat with the call sign of, uh, Repel War Off. What's down here? Mm -hmm. 
do... Oh. Oh, a Paris. You know what? I'll give you a shot. So let's quick attack. Now. Damn it. Really? Effect Spore. Fuck you. Making me use my antidote twice in one video. And another Paris. Level 8 this time. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh shit. Let's see if Tackle will. Not do Damn it. Whew. At least Effect Spore didn't do anything this time. Hi! We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Or you get blasted it off time and time again. Oh, a Sandshrew, is it? That's what you're going to go with? Okay. Oh. I see your game. It's called Curl Up Into a Little Ball and Cry. You're still curling up into a little ball and crying, huh? Okay. You keep doing that, I'll, I'll keep blowing my shit at you. Really? Is that all you're gonna do? Seriously? Wow! Oh, finally you do something else. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. At this late in the game, you, you use a defense curl. Okay. Goodbye. Boom, baby. Pidgey is up to level 15. Rattata. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I heard you like Mudkit. Um, you know what? I'm gonna bide. Really? Come on. Bring it on. Ha 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 ha! Come on. <laughs> Boom! Goodbye. We really could have a juices. A Zubat, huh? Let's try bite again. That's not gonna work. Motherfucker. Really? Confused? All I'm doing is storing energy. How do you do that? Holy shit. How the fuck? What the motherfuck? Okay. That does it. <laughs> Confused for one whole turn. Well, technically more than one, but that's fine. Goodbye. We won't miss you. <gasps> ah, so close to a level up. Ah, I blew it. Yeah, you blew it, all right. What's... Oh. God damn it, Zubat. Not that it's going to do you any good. <sighs> like I said, I want to catch a Geodude first. That's why I haven't turned on the Repel just yet. Oh, a Star Piece. I can sell that for some monies. God damn it, Zubat. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'm running from these things. God damn it. Seriously. This is why this is why they are goddamn bats. Uh, and keep in mind I did not change that particular thing. 
Oh, it's a level 5 Paris. You know what? Take my anger out on you. Gain 50 experience points in the in the ins ensuing struggle, but okay, there are others around here that I can fight. Hi. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. No shit. Thought you needed to go through this cave to get to your mother. Why is that always the fallback thing to, to insult somebody's mother? I mean, I mean, why is that a fallback thing? To insult somebody's parents. It's weird. Uh. Metapod, huh? You know what? Mudkip is close to evolving. Because it's a starter. It evolves at level 16. Well, it's a non-Gen 5 starter. It evolves at level 16. So, yeah. Let's, let's give it a level up. Boo-hoo! Aw, yeah, son. Caterpie? Caterp- Please! Caterp- Please! I have Umbreon. Umbreon's gonna wreck your shit. And then you're not gonna recognize yourself in the morning. Because I will have wrecked your shit just that much. I lost. I lost. Mudkip is evolving. Oh shit. Oh yeah, son. <laughs> the first evolution of the game. Sweet! Also, my Pokedex is abysmally low in number. <laughs> But that will change later on in the game. Evolved into Marsh Stomp! Mudshot? Oh, snap! So let's see. This is 55, this is 20. Gee, what move am I gonna replace? Fuck you, Mud Slap, I'm going with Mudshot. Oh, a rare candy. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, Pidgey. That's one less level you have to work at in order to evolve. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? What's this? Son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? At this point... Escape rope. Okay, good. How much money do I have? Thirteen fifty-four. At this point, fuck you. I'm putting on the repel. Oh, you just uh, uh, you're just a talky NPC. Okay. Come on. Hi. It's way bigger in here than I thought. It's a cave, sweetie. It's a video game type cave. It's going to be bigger than you thought. <sighs> yeah. Real caverns? Well, that depends on where you go. I mean, the Florida caverns down here in, in Florida, they're, they're, they're all right, you know. They've, they've obviously been worked on to expand it so people can walk into them, but there are parts where they hadn't worked on it, and you can still kind of crawl into it. If you're claustrophobic, I would not recommend going down there, especially not without a guide. Because <laughs> uh, that was my first job. My first job was working at the Florida Caverns. And one night, after we closed and everything, one of the guides went down with us, and we all looked around in there, and it was pretty neat. Uh, but, so yeah, that's a little bit of life story you never knew about me. Oh, hey, a rocket. Also a thief. Also going to fight you. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Oh, dear. Oh, God damn it! you too. I will blow you away. <laughs> It's always one of those things when you see a Pokemon use a move that's meant to confuse you. 
It's always that moment of, oh my god, is it going to hit? Please don't let it hit. Ekans. Because... Fucking Intimidate. Uh, I don't know if it would work on all people, but it would definitely work on Ophidio folks. The more extreme, the more it'll work. I'm an Ophidiophobe, but it's not to the point where I can't handle seeing a snake on a... on, like, a television screen or something. Like, but if, if you, like, put a real snake next to me... Haha! <laughs> rest assured, uh, you, will, you will hear a little child, like, screaming. So, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Neither! Yay! Uh Repel war off! That's fine. Okay. I've had one repel. I won't find a goddamn Geodude. Here's Rattata. Oh dear. Goodbye, Rattata. Fuck you. Um. You know what? Umbreon hasn't gotten a lot of play recently. So let's give him some. Um, you know what? Let's tackle his ass. Mm. There you go. Down you go. Zubat. Too bad Synchronize doesn't work with confusion. That would be awesome. Like if like if you get confused, your opponent gets confused too. I know, I know there's an item like like in future generations and like current generation with the destiny knot. If you hold that, you get infatuated. Your your opponent gets infatu infatuated too. Losing stinks. So uncool. So uncool. Losing is so uncool. Oh, finally a Geodude. Okay. Since I know it's not going to be very effective, like so. Okay, tackle, tackle, tackle. Oh! Holy shit. Using his defense. Okay, okay. That's fine. Okay. I want to capture you. I want you. Which means it's going to be really, really awkward when I want to evolve into the golem later. Because uh, it only does that through trade. <gasps> Very close. Okay. Ow. Alright. Pokeball! This should be considerably easier to catch than a goddamn starter Pokemon. Yeah, when switching around a lot of the stuff, I did not switch the catch rates of all the Pokemon. I probably should have. No, no, I'm not giving any any Geodude a name or anything. What I will do is use a quick escape rope to go back to the Pokemon Center. What? Escape ropes. Never leave home without one. Yeah, but you just found that in the cavern, you idiot. Shh. And my phone says hello. <laughs> Uh. Okay, time to turn back, turn on the repel again. Uh, considering I fought pretty much all of the trainers up here, except for one, like, right at the end of where I want to go. I should be able to just, yep. Hi! Whoa, you shocked me! Oh, you're just a kid. Just a kid? Well, fuck you too, buddy. Oops. A little bit mismatched here. Uh, 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 um, let me, let me just, uh, 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 switch, switch, switch that out. Uh, 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 yeah. And that's my shitty get Jeff Goldblum impersonation. I'm here all night, folks. Try the veal. I'm here all week. Uh, oh, lordy. A shot of mud in your eye. Alright. 
now we get to have the fun with leveling up this little thing. This little dude. This little Geo dude. Okay. <sighs> I'll be gl I'll be glad when I get enough to get the experience share. Cause I think you have to capture 50 Pokemon in order to capture in order to get it. Yeah. I haven't been doing that, have I? <laughs> well, that'll change. I might do it off screen. I might not. I don't know. An Onyx. Ooh. Aren't you, Mr. Fancy Pants? You've got the rock Pokemon equivalent of a large penis. Okay, I don't know about that much, but you do, you do have a large rock snake, so... So aren't you, Mr. Fancy Pants? Sounds like the guy who has a hole in Pokemon in his party. Shh. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Geodude grew to level 9. Shocked again! Kids like you shouldn't be wandering around here in the dark. But I can see you perfectly fine. Ooh, a Moonstone. Yay. Okay, Repel, we're off. Who knows, do I... Yep, I'll run into something. Most likely a Paris. HOLY SHIT! Yeah, this is another one of those Pokemon that I just kind of put in there. By the way, I learned something. Registeel at this level... They fucking learn explosion. So, uh, yeah. Here's hoping it doesn't blow up on me. I'm gonna try and capture it. Oh, that's right. It has. It has resistances to dark type moves. Okay, Marsh Tomp. Ah, oh, shit! God damn it. And woo. Yeah, that happened. Okay. Let's use a potion. And <laughs> fuck you, Registeel. Oh. Uh... Did I, you put on a repel? Now I have. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's right. Only weak Pokemon. Derp! That's fine. You know what? This is, this is, this, this could be good for Geodude, real quick. <sighs> so I'm gonna knock out a Zubat. I might even capture one. I don't know. Maybe later. There you go. Goodbye. What? Level 10. When are you going to learn Rock Throw? Okay. Put Umbreon up front. Hi. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Bad news, huh? Well, it could be bad news that you're messing with me because I got a goddamn Umbreon. So, you know. Mm. And I have a, a massive hatred for your Rattata there. Because it's a fucking Rattata. Does that make me a Poké Racist? You know, if I hate one particular species on sight? You know, I mean, just... Does, does that make me a Poké Racist? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to name these episodes while I'm doing them, for the most part. So, it's, uh, I don't even know. But there's a Geodude. And now that he's going to get some experience, I'm going to actually switch out to something that will pretty much stomp this thing into the ground. Oh, you raise your defense, but it is in vain! <laughs> I have Water Gun. 
Goodbye. Bye bye. Boom. Holy shit, yeah. Ah. Uh, and you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have used the randomizer to kind of I wanna say level out the experience curves to where they're all pretty much the same or similar. But nah. Ooh, hi. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Okay, if you say so. But, um, you know, there, there's a place, I think it's on four or five island, where you can, like, you know, just breed the fuckers with a ditto, right? Oh, fuck your Rattata. Ow. Motherfucker. Bastard. Ugh. At least Umbreon grew to level 16. Zubat. Because, fuck you guys! Oh, Geodude is up for a level up. You know what, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I'm gonna let Geodude handle this thing. Especially since Leech Life is only taking 2 HP. And he's doing a lot more damage. Well, she is. A female Geodude. Oh, hey! Geodudet. Really? I was say, what the fuck? Do you have some kind of fucking serene grace thing going on? Oh god damn it. Ugh. Okay. You're confused. Now what? What are you gonna do? Damn it! Okay. If it'll make you feel better, here's a potion. Ah. Yee. Okay. Yeah. No, of course you're gonna try and leech. You're leeching from a rock. Of course it's not gonna do very much. Meanwhile, the rock will hit you, and well, there you go. What? Level eleven. Aw oh, yeah, son. Finally, fucking rock throw. Oh snap! Almost grew two levels. Now nah, I'm mad. You made me mad. Team Rocket will blacklist you. Oh no. Blacklisted by an evil organization. Whatever shall I do? Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine! Okay. I... Uh... Oh, yeah. A super nerd! A Grimer. Really? Why do these guys have Grimer? Ew! Maybe it's to denote the fact that they have oily faces and pimples? I don't know. As a t well, they are super nerds, so they're not your typical stereotypical nerds either, so, you know. They're super nerds. Coughing. Hmm. It's going to have levitate, so I'm, it, it's not going to be... It's, it's pretty much immune to one of its weaknesses. And I don't have any psychic-type moves, so... And I doubt it knows how to blow up yet. Oh, like that fucking Registeel. Holy shit! <laughs> but it has poison gas. Great. Mm, Voltorb. Ooh. Oh, Geodude's gonna play. <laughs> Somebody wants to play! Let's play with let's let's throw our balls against each other. That sounds very sexual. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't do much, can you? Even if you had an electric attack, you couldn't do anything because Geo dude's part ground type. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet! Joe Dude is growing and growing. Look at that! Holy shit! Okay, I'll share! Leech deck of fossil. No being greedy. So let's see. Dome or Helix? Hmm. You know what? 
Because fuck Lord Helix. There, I said it. This fossil is mine. Okay, good. And I find an antidote right there when I possibly could need it. <gasps> I got out without running into another Pokemon without repel. So yay. These guys, their move tutors, Mega Punch or Mega Kick, respectively. You can only use them once, though. Oh, item ball. Roar! Uh, who's in here? A Spiro. Old Tranky Bird. Yeah, I'll just knock you out real quick. Looks like I've got, yeah, probably about a little less than 20 minutes left on my time for this week. So I'm going to go to the next part of the journey. After I heal up my Pokemon, of course. <laughs> Get out of my way, NPC. Oh, so we've come this far. We've come to Cerulean City, and this is only the second episode. But then again, I can kind of trail blaze through this game for the most part. So, of course, the series itself might go a little faster. Always be saving. Look at that. Look at that Pokedex of five. I really should change that. And you know what? I'm going to. Starting with putting Geodude up front. Hmm. Say, I wonder what else I can get here. I have 35, okay. Don't I have a... Yep! Boom, baby! Moonstone? Oh no, I can't buy that. They will not buy a Moonstone. I know this now. Okay, so we have 84. Give myself up to 20 of those. 8 Super Potions. Sweet. Better keep the regular potions around, just in case. About shot myself in the foot when I when I traded all the way up when, uh, you know, quartz. I know there's one. I could trade something for a jinx here. Let's see, is this you? I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to talk about the badges. I'm looking for the person I could trade to, to for a jinx. Because I may do that. Oh, berry powder. Okay. Oh, wait. Berries. Shit. Why'd I do that? How many berries do you have? Not a one. Oh, so either way, I, I don't get anything from you. Meh. Fuck you. Oh. Would you please trade with him? I don't know. What does he want? Poliwhirl, huh? For a jinx. I don't have a Poliwhirl, so maybe I'll come back when I have one. How about that? So, we'll go up here. Oh, it's you. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Gomer. Okay. Okay, sure. Of course, he starts with a Pidgeotto. I have fucking Geodude. How the fuck do you have a Pidgeotto at level 17? Yeah, I'll just throw rocks at you until you die. As long as you don't lower my accuracy, you motherfucker. Really? Come on. Ah! Stop it. Seriously? Three in a row! Come on. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't lower my defense, dude. That just lowers my accuracy. Which means I can't kill you as easily. Ah. I still tackle your ass, though. Ha! Boom! Hello! Shit. Squirtle. You 
caught a goddamn Squirtle. What are you doing with a Squirtle? I thought this was supposed to be the Charmander. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Maybe it does matter. It could, this could be a point where I messed up in my hacking, guys. If he doesn't have like like the Machop or anything, then we're gonna I'm gonna be embarrassed. Because that's what he's supposed to have. But you know what? I'm getting my ass kicked. I got my ass kicked by a goddamn Squirtle. That's pathetic. But you know what? Revenge is sweet. Machop. Okay. So I did use the right one. Just when I... Because at one point when I was doing all my hacking, I had put the wrong uh, Kanto starter in here, apparently. But you know what? It's not immune to a mud. It has Metal Claw. Why didn't you switch around the movesets? What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, well. But you know what? Later ones where I could switch around the movesets... They, they actually do what they're supposed to. Okay. You have low kick as well. And focus energy. Apparently Metal Claw is just a thing that... It... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you're just joining me now and you're just realizing it, yes, this is a hack. <laughs> it's not as much of a hack as some other games but it is a bit of a hack and if you didn't notice that from the beginning of this video then I have to ask what is wrong with you <laughs> so okay that was that was a something there hmm. yeah let's just tackle him oh that's so adorable Huh. What? Level up. Aw, oh, yeah, son. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, well... Hey, guess what? Went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. Oh, honey. Honey, I got a Marsh Stomp. <laughs> he invented the Pokemon storage system. Yay. Yeah, smell you later. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Fame checker? <laughs> Who needs it? Who uses the fame checker? Seriously. Does anybody use it? I don't use it. Do you use it? Does Do the Game Grumps use it? Does, does, does Roam Mithril use it? Does anybody use it? Ugh. Ah. And I know I just named dropped like three or four different people. All right. So it looks like what's next is the Nugget Bridge. And once I'm done with the Nugget Bridge, I'll probably end up calling it. Depending on how fast these battles go. Beat five trainers and win a fabulous prize. A G. Could it be a Nugget? Oh, this is just so... This is just too easy. Um, let's see. Rock beats Bug. Who uses strings. And... Because Rock and Bug equals Squish. Goodbye, Bug. Weedle. Another Weedle. Fucking Weedles. Yeah. What's really horrible is Yodu can still be poisoned. Mm. Wouldn't mind something with a steel typing, though. Metapod! Hey, buddy! 
I haven't seen you since... Well, earlier in this episode. Uh, there you go. You still crush just as easily. You just hardened yourself and made it a louder crunch. Yay! Whoop! Kakuna. Kakuna. Matata. Kakuna. Matata. Okay. If I do it again, you, you feel free to send a, a monkey and have it slap me upside the head. Or just make my Pokemon miss. That works too. Uh, so come on, rock throw it. Oh fuck yeah. Mm. You gotta find some time to take a drink of water. <laughs> Yay, more. Hi! Now it's serious. Wait, you mean that last one wasn't serious? Seriously? Pidgey, Pidgey. Oh. You know what they say kill two birds with one stone. Or maybe kill one bird with about four or five of them. Uh, Oddish. Yeah, I'm switching you out for something I just killed. Hello, Mr. Pidgey. If you if, okay, if you guys haven't heard the cry for Oddish in Gen Six, you really need to go find it and listen to it because it just sounds freaking adorable. It's Bell Sprout, huh? Oh, oh! Please tell me this is gonna give me enough to level up Pidgey. Please let it be enough to level up Pidgey. Please, please! Yes! Pidgey is level 18. That means how can I lose? Well, you kind of suck. Fuck yeah, Pidgey's evolving. Oh, here he comes! Yee! Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Pidgeotto. No longer a Pidgey, it's a Pidgeotto. I won't be easy. Oh, sure you won't. You have two Pokemon. One of which is this fucking sand shrew. Okay. I have a marsh tomp. We have a hulk. No. Oh, just wait till marsh tomp boy here learns surf. What? <gasps> Magnitude, yes, 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 yes. Um, what do I want to get rid of? I'm gonna get rid of. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of. Mud Sport. Because why does a Geo dude need Mud Sport? Ekans, huh? Well, considering Geo dude just got a good ground type move. And poison is weak to ground type attacks. <laughs> I think you all know where I'm going with this. Let's see what we can do. Ow. Whew. Seven. Ooh, nice. And shake the screen. You know, that would be a hell of a mechanic if you use magnitude and then you immediately had to start shaking your system. I don't know how that would be emulated, though. <laughs> I mean, I can see how you could do it on a 3DS. You know, you use magnitude and then you shake it for like maybe one or two seconds, and however hard you were able to shake it for however long is what, what the uh, level it would be. Like there, that would be a decent shaking. Hmm. 
I don't know. I, th I think kids might end up breaking shit with that. Mm. Nidorins, Nidorins, Nidorins. No, oh, really? Nine! Holy fuck! That's even better. Now, if it was just a more climactic battle that was being used in, that would be great. Uh, I lost too! Yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. You'll stomp me? Oh my. A manky. Oh dear. And this is not just some low-level manky. This has yeah, some power behind it. Haha. <laughs> not gonna do much, but it still hurt me quite a bit, though. Oof. I'll be glad when Pidgeotto can finally, finally learn Wing Attack. Really? That's it? You have only one? You're the last one, and you only have one Pokemon? Are you serious? Yeah, you better not have any regrets. You beat our five contest trainers! Yay! I got a Nugget. How would you like to join Team Rocket? Uh, no. We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? No. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, join us. No. I'm telling you to join. No. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an, o make you an offer you can't refuse. It's gonna make me an offer you can't refuse, huh? Yeah, well, I'm gonna you just take your offer and shove it right up the old poop stack. Wait, poop stack? Ooh, nice! Damn straight! Mm -hmm. Oof. Zubat, huh? Geodude is just kicking all ass. I'm, keep, I'm definitely keeping it around for a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Zubat. Ah, you are good. With your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. No. I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center, and that's where we're going to end the video. <laughs> And here we go. And of course the rule, ABS, always be saving. Yeah, I got a grand total of one new Pokemon in the Pokedex. Okay then. So yeah, that's where we're going to leave off this time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, stay tuned next time when we go meet up with Bill, take on the Cerulean Gym, and, well, who knows what else will happen. So until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. And stay tuned for the next episode of Gomer Plays Pokemon Fire Red.